they'll be speaking about uh, a balance I've got and it's uh upside down. It's my SRS uh balance and for forty watt fluorescent tubes. Um yeah, so the diagram works by um you've got your neutral which goes to your lamp and then then you've got your cap, you've got a wire which goes to a capacitator, and then which would go to your lamp. And then you've got one wire which goes to your lamp and then another wire which goes there and um and your life goes into the ballast. This is pretty much wired up exactly the same as a normal forty watt rapid start LPS ballast from the United States, except you don't have the capacitating series uh, on the wiring. So these ballasts have pretty much nearly perfect power factor uh correction because the cap um and there's no starter as you can see and um well this is made for forty watt lamp so I'm using a fifty watt five foot lamp I showed in a previous vid. Um what I want to know, are the cathodes, the electrodes heated while an SRS ballast is in operation or does it get shut off after starting? That's what I want to know because Let's say I was to run this lamp on a normal ballast like this. It, since the lamp holders is very high, it drops down the milliamps to 200 milliamps on the drive of the lamp. And the same thing happens here. So I'm wondering, if the cathodes are heated, I can leave this at 100 milliamps while the cathodes are heated so it doesn't splutter and damage the lamp. Uh, the cap, I'm going to be using a 5.5 bar, I'm using a 4.5. Basically, I can, this is basically what you do if you're trying to run a 30 watt bulb on an SRS ballast. The 30 watt SRS ballast do exist, but they're ultra rare. So if you've got a 40 watt one, she's use a 4.5 volt capacitator, you'll be able to run three foot tubes without over driving them. I I did this with my Westinghouse lamp, and the the lamp doesn't get any doesn't get too hot. The ballast stays super cool, cooler than it is normally with the correct cap. And it's still under driving the ballast itself, which that doesn't mind. So I'll show you it starting up. And this is a little harder to start since so this lamp is five foot. Oh, let me see if I can get see if I can get it to start. There we go. And see the current is super low, and I'm. I know SRS ballasts are a lot gentler on the ramp, but it's like just like an electronic starter. So here's the. Let's see how well you can see that. It's not very good, the quality, but it's the best I can do. It gives you know, it starts up very much like a rapid start ballast, except. This there's pretty much no strands, and with this tube actually rectifies for a split second, so it's, it's bigger. This bag's for it for four foot lamps, not you know um five foot lamps. But it's all I've got. I think I've I will actually show you the um my Westinghouse lamp um start one of my Westinghouse lamps starting um so here's a, Yeah, I re my school's got hundreds of these. You know, five foot uh fittings. Not like this, but you know, sixty foot, eighty watt, five foot fittings. Yeah, so I'm going up one of the Westinghouse lamps now. So, um here's the Westinghouse lamp. That's pretty of the yet and I'll show it to you on. Although it looks pretty much white so uh, yeah, it doesn't, the current reality is very saturated yellow. It's got a bit more yellow than a, uh, than, um, a, uh, no, for sure you but for some reason everything is white, which is not real. So, uh, but, you know, I'm just trying to see my hands on it so very well. It's very beautiful and little. Yeah, you can see it's yellow. You know, it's a gold lamp. Okay, to hear the ballast along where the mic. Don't know if you caught that, but you can hear the ballast starting up. Sure, it's 
Coffee on perfume or something. Like I said in the previous video, I'll show you this starting up. And here we go. Just love that fading effect. I actually ran this for a couple of rounds on then the bar is still fine, the lamp is fine. Mm. And look at the current. The current is actually quite a tad bit lower. No, it's the first time measuring the current and two two four two two four two two three. Ooh, that's a bit low. Never noticed that. My god, I do need to get the correct cap. This is long as well. Yeah, this rig. Yeah. So it's like a, you know, the LPS band is like a stop band from America. When they drive the lamps. Ooh. I do need to get my a better cap. It's just that's all I had at hand. It seems fine for now, to be honest. Like I said, I ran this before. And plug. It didn't splat off. Lamp it the ends are nice and warm or easy, you know, the ends on the fluorescent lamp would be hot, you know, it's under driven. Like if I ran a five foot lamp or a, I don't know, a ballast thirteen watt lamp would barely get warm, so you can tell that's definitely under driven. So this is probably probably is heated. It's really nice. Maybe it's out a bit better there. Mm. Let's let's see the ballast of it. What last time? Yeah. So I'm using 4.5 volt. No, not 4.5. 4.5 microfarad. Uh, this is the volt cap. And the ballast. Oh, it says it says Clemmy. Um, starterless ballast and lots of things, and it says that I have to use a two point five uh point five volt two fifty volt cap, and it says it can be the five plus or five uh m minus or you know uh, five uh plus or five negative out of the range. I'm guessing it means it can be six microfarads or five microfarads. Just giving you know rough the cap. My preferred rating should use anything lower or higher. Yeah, I'm using a 4.5, it's not very good. But, um, this is my SRS bar for my Westinghouse lamp. Starting off in my SI, this is one tube. Great, I've got two of these, like I said previously. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, you can't capture the fading and all. Oh, there is the camera. So the camera has a hard time adjusting to the. Hmm, you can see it a tad better. Yeah, great ballast. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the place I got this from has only two left, and uh, I might buy somewhere I know is might buy one, and I might buy another. Though I'm not too sure. Um, so uh, this is great ballast, and I promised I'd show you the last thing I'm turning on. And uh yeah, here it is. My last um last start of uh, last last sound and then last start up. Alright, this is light bulb one, lights out.